YouTube, this is Lion Styles, and I'm back with another CUR Commentators Under Review. Alright, now on the first one, I was talking about Genotaku123. Now, uh, with this second one, let's get on to the next commentator that I want to review. So, I got my uh, magic remote here. Let's get to it. Now this familiar face that you may know is Sketch McLean, but he also goes by the name GNR and STP911. Now GNR, when you hear him speak in his commentaries, almost makes you feel like you're listening to Boomstick talk. That is until you see his face and then you slowly realize that Boomstick never looked like a pedophile before. But I digress. Now, Sketch is also a type of person that likes to have his hands in the water of creativity, if you know what I mean. He just doesn't do commentaries. He does maxed out rants, Sketch TV randomness, and his own variation of the Awesome Dance series. He is kind of different from all other commentators because he doesn't just stick to commentating. He does other different things just so he doesn't get bored with commentary and he can just do something completely different. That actually works, and I guess that's what makes him a little interesting. Now, for his commentaries, they're sometimes lulzy. They're, they're actually very straight to the point, and, you know, listen to these clips. Don't take my word for it. Detailed rants my Louisiana ass. His character traits, spoken lines, special effects, and edits in the movies are very, very similar to the movies James Rolfe makes. Such to the point where they are known as rip-offs. <laughs> You know, for someone who complains a lot about overusing references, DCE seems to use a lot of references. Well, this other need for another epic quest set in ye old medieval England, around the time Arthur accepts swords from water whores. I don't get it. Little less conversation. One of my biggest problems with RPGs, either Western or Japanese, is the game feels more like a storybook. That's the idea. Now, those are just tidbits of what he does in his commentaries. And both of those are actually from his his commentary on Random DC's HDG, and the other one was on GupTill89. I actually have a link to his channel below, so go check him out. He's really good. Okay, now, as for his grades, for effort, I give him an A+. Plus. For his overall commentating presence, I give him mm, a B minus. I give him a B minus because like some like some of his commentaries are good, but other times they're kind of hit and miss. And he does kind of come off like a fanboy in most of his stuff, which is a big red flag waving no. Okay, so that was my C U R on G N R and S T P nine one one. That was actually a request by Hodgson himself, so there you go. Anyway, guys, um, my other videos will be up. I have now decided to actually call my commentaries, if you haven't heard, Loud and Proud. So, you know, a Loud and Proud will be up sometime soon. Uh, Lounge World will be up, will be up there, and a CUR will be up there. But anyway, guys, this is Loud Styles here to tell you that lily livers can cure cancer. I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fear the cube! Be afraid. Be very afraid.